So I'd like to read first uh, from um, Black Rudities. It's about our dear Tala Brundage, of course. Um, my poem uh, is entitled Those Yesteryears, and I'm dedicating it to my mom. The years have been long, much too long to remember the hurtful times encountered in our relationship. But I do remember the beautiful times we shared. Those yesteryears were magical. And in this moment, I want to embrace our life together again. Knowing it is impossible, I cling to those memories and mourn losing you. In physicality, albeit, we will spiritually be together eternally. As a child, I did not understand your unrelenting outspokenness, protesting so me and my siblings could attend better schools. I wanted my mother at home, safe, not out in the community fighting for school rights. Because I heard the unkind words and saw the hatred in the eyes of white people that wanted to keep black children out of their schools. Working tirelessly at home with six children and holding down a job, you knew the importance of education and advocating for your family and community, instilling in us the necessity for education. Your powerful, gentle brilliance continues to guide and fortify me in my life. It is the mirror that I hold, the blessings that unfold, the wisdom that must be told. My next poem I'm reading from my book, Ghana on My Mind, Poet of Adventures on the Green of the Netherlands. And uh, this is a sojourn that I actually took with Walter Waugh, West Oakland to West Africa, with Carla Brundage as our founder and leader. Thank you so much, Carla. It changed my life. So this book um, is available um, at Moat, at uh, soon to be at Marcus Books. At, um, it's also available at Amazon. And I have copies here today if you'd like to purchase. Um, yes. So the poem that I'm reading from my book is entitled um, Ghana, O oh Ghana. This is the first poem that I wrote uh, for this book. And it, I wrote it on the plane. Here's a picture of Kala, <laughs> Tyrese, and me sitting side by side on the plane. <laughs> okay. Traveling by air across the sea, journey of a lifetime, finally coming to be. Land of my ancestors, history awaits, unveiling roots, opening wounds where scars are left to heal. Weaving spirits and touching souls, Ghana, oh Ghana, constantly on my mind. When I arrive, what do I hope to find? Will you be there, waiting to welcome and receive me with embracing arms? Will I feel your love running through me until my cup runneth over. Here I sit, staring out at clouds, silently praying, Ghana, oh Ghana, your distant, disconnected family is now returning home to a country once thought of as the land of no return. Ooh. last and final poem, I'm going to read um, from a mentor of mine, 
uh, whose name is Maya Angela. Mm -hmm. And uh, the poem of hers that I will read to you is entitled, Still I Rise. Mm -hmm. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I arise. Mm -hmm. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I like, because I walk like I've got oil webs, oil well, wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't take it awful hard, cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I rise. <laughs> Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from the past, that's rooted in pain, I arise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise, bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of the slave. Oh. I rise. I rise. I rise. I rise.